Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of The Locker Room. I am your host. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Reggie. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been living under a rock, then you probably don't know that the Brooklyn Nets got blown off of the court last night in Sacramento by a score of 153 to 121. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to the Sacramento Kings. I actually did place a bet on this game. I took the Kings at home. I figured they would win, but I did not expect a ass whooping like the one that they gave to the Brooklyn Nets last night. Kevin Durant still went off, had 27 points, 8 of 15 from the field. Um, but listen, it came in a losing effort. And after the game, apparently, man, he spoke with Bleacher Report's Chris Haynes. And, man, he just went ballistic on the Brooklyn Nets. Pretty much exposed the entire franchise, man. And we got to talk about it, man, straight up. Um, like I said, shout out to KD, man. He's been giving, you know, the media some very, very good content, you know, these last few years, man. So um, this is one that we got to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Now, now, in this article, he goes on to talk about his trade request from the summer. Now, he says, quote, it wasn't difficult at all to request a trade because it was about ball. I went to them and I was like, yo, I don't like how we are preparing. I don't like shoot arounds. I like practices. I need more. I want to work on more shit. Hold me accountable. Get on my ass and film. If that's going to help you get on everybody else's head. I want to do more closeouts. I want to work on more shell drills at practice. This was the type of shit I was coming at them with. It wasn't like, yo, y'all need to make sure everybody around me can make my life easier. Hell no. Nah. I want to make everybody else's life easier. Ask Steve Nash. You can go call him right now. I would say, yo, I need more closeout drills. We need to practice more. That's what I was on. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you, man, this dude, Kevin Durant, is about hooping. That's all he wants to do. He just wants to play basketball, right? So the article goes on to say that the Nets firing Steve Nash as head coach and promoting Vaughn added a spark, but it's going to take more than a different coach roaming the sidelines to make them among the top teams in the Eastern Conference. So this is Kevin Durant. He says, quote, I just like good practices. I like a good preparation. I like good energy. And we've been showing that, to be honest. Coaches have been doing a great job, regardless of this loss tonight and last game. I think we've been preparing ourselves well. Guys want to win. We're out there playing as hard as we can. That's really what I need. So he goes on to say, that's what I said last summer. I didn't feel like we had those things last year, like good preparation, good energy to start the team uh, chemistry. And I feel like we're building that right now. We got guys in and out of the lineup, but I think guys have been figuring out their roles within that. And it's been fun regardless of games like tonight. I mean, listen, man, um, Katie, don't get too down on yourself, man. You guys are on a road trip right now in California. I believe you guys just wrapped it up by uh, playing the Lakers and playing the Kings. So, listen, these, these type of losses are going to happen. It just is what it is, right? Now, he goes on to say that, you know, people are out here questioning his leadership. So, this is Kevin Durant. He says, I'm not a leader, question mark. What the fuck does that mean? A lot of people say I'm not a leader because I didn't tell Kyrie to get vaccinated. Come on. Or I didn't condemn Kyrie for leaving the team, going out and living his life. I'm not about to tell a grown-ass man what he can and can't do with his own life and dissect his views or how he thinks about shit. So listen, man, like I said, he said a lot in this article. Me personally, like I said, when it comes to Kyrie Irving, I do think that Kevin Durant needs to hold Kyrie Irving accountable, right? Kyrie Irving is the reason that Kevin Durant is in Brooklyn. So if he's doing all of these things behind the scenes, not showing up to work, not getting vaccinated, you know, posting links to movies that's pissing off the Jewish community, Listen, Kevin Durant has to be the one to say, listen, little bro, I came here because of you. I need you here. But Kevin Durant, like I said, he's a nice guy, man. And Kyrie is his quote unquote best friend. So I doubt that he's going to check him. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, this is where the article got very, very funny for me right now. Kevin Durant is about to go on and talk about the Brooklyn Nets roster. Now, I have been saying this as well. If you look at their roster, Outside of Kyrie and KD, I mean, it's just straight up depleted. They, they really don't have much, right? Now, this is what KD said about it. He said, quote, look at our starting lineup. Edmund Sumner, Royce O'Neal, Joe Harris, Nick Claxton, and me. It's not disrespect, but what are you expecting from that group? 
you expect us to win because I'm out there. So if you're watching from that lens, you're expecting us to play well because number seven is out there. I'm really having a good time. I wish y'all could hear me talk during the game. If I got mic'd up more, people would stop asking me if I'm happy or not. I'm enjoying every moment I get to step out on this fucking court. Nope. And part of it is because I tore my Achilles in the pandemic. I didn't know if we were going to play again. I didn't know if I was going to play again. So listen, man, I told you, this dude said a lot in this article, ladies and gentlemen, and he pretty much just exposed the Brooklyn Nets for being a terrible, terrible franchise. Now, the reason why I slightly disagree with some of the things Kevin Durant is saying is because some of this is Kevin Durant's fault. And I'm going to go there for a second. Some of this is Kevin Durant's fault. Now, who told Kevin Durant to join Kyrie Irving in Brooklyn? Who told him to do that? You had a great situation in Golden State with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond Green. You had a great situation. Who the hell told you to leave that situation and then join Kyrie Irving in Brooklyn? Like, why would you do that? So part of this is KD's fault. I mean, he's got to hold himself accountable for even putting himself in this situation. If I was KD, listen, I would have stayed in Golden State. Before I would have came and, and linked up with Kyrie, I would have I would have just stayed with Draymond, straight up. I would have just stayed with Draymond and Steph before I linked up with Kyrie Irving, man. This dude, I told y'all, man, Kyrie Irving is is a malcontent. He's never happy. No matter what you what you do, you could give Kyrie the world, he still won't be happy. They gave him everything he wanted in Brooklyn. They fired Kenny Atkinson. They allowed you to come in with Kevin Durant and and pretty much blow the whole team up that they had before you guys. They had uh, Jared Allen. D'Angelo Russell, Karis LeVert, all them dudes is gone. They made everything easy for y'all. So like I said, I kind of have to disagree with Kevin Durant, man. A lot of this is his fault. There needs to be some level of personal accountability between him and Kyrie Irving. This is y'all's fault. The Brooklyn Nets did everything right. They gave y'all everything y'all needed to be successful, and the most y'all have gotten is a second round exit. Bruh. So, yes, man, um, Kevin Durant, man, listen, pray for Kevin Durant, man, because this situation in Brooklyn doesn't look like it's going to get better anytime soon. Kyrie Irving is still out, and there's no word of when he is going to be back. So, who knows, man? Um, like I said, at best, I got this team penciled in to the playing tournament, and, yeah, they'll be headed to Cancun in late April, according to uh, me, right? <laughs> They are not a playoff team. They're just not. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video, man. Come into the comments down below and let me know what you think of Kevin Durant going completely ballistic on the Brooklyn Nets franchise. This was another installment of The Locker Room. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.